As we commemorate the 150th anniversary of the war between the states, we would like to present to you a program of Civil War music and songs that have carried the soldiers through those four years of hardship. If I close my eyes, I can actually visualize this beautiful park back in 1865 with Confederate soldiers encamped around the ironworks in protection from Union troops. With war raging on, in most areas of the South, these soldiers were homesick, many having been away from home for almost four years. The only entertainment other than gambling and playing cards was music. Some soldiers brought along on, had even constructed crude instruments to while away the hours of waiting. I'm sure some of the soldiers that were from the Appalachian Mountains had dulcimers as they played along to popular songs of that era. The songs of the North and the South intertwined with music of bravery, daily life, and love of home. The very first flag of the Confederacy was a single white star on a black, a back, blue black background. Next to Dixie, perhaps no other song was as well loved by the Confederate soldier as the Bonnie Blue Flag, written by Harry McCarty. This song was an instant hit after McCarty premiered it during a concert in Jackson, Mississippi in the spring of 1861. Bonnie Blue Flag. We are a band of brothers and native to the soul. Fighting for the breath that we regain by honest call. And when our rights were threatened, the cry was near and far. Who fought for the faith of flag that ever seen? Another battle song that took on popularity was the battle cry of freedom, written in 1862 by American composer George Frederick Root. It was written to advocate the cause of the <coughs> Union but became so popular that lyrics were written to adapt it to the Confederacy. Sing along as we play the battle cry of freedom. Our flag is proudly floating on the land and on the main. Shout, shout the battle cry of I'm 
songs during the war were of patriotic form. Many soldiers, both North and South, were tired, hungry, and especially homesick. <clears throat> Sitting around the campfire, particularly at night, reminded the soldiers of the things they missed, home, loved ones, and friends. Wartime composers penned many songs of the era whose lyrics brought tears to those lonely men. One such song was When You and I Were Young, Maggie, written by George W. Johnson in 1864. 